Good day, Capricorn viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning in to Just Be Tarot. Thank you for your awesome energy. Thank you for um, joining me, and thank you for clicking on that subscribe button and also hitting that notification bell next to it. Let you know when I go live or post videos. Also, if you can leave a comment in the comment section, if this resonates with you, or even if it doesn't, uh, feedback is always welcome. Today, I am doing a general reading for our Capricorn Collective for August 2022, Romance. I am shuffling for the overall energy currently for August 22. 2022 romance reading for Capricorn spirit. What do they need to know for their greatest good for August for romance for Capricorns? What do they need to know? Okay, so right now we have storm warning. And then we have anxiety. And blossoming abundance. Okay, so storm warning is kind of like the tower of this oracle deck. Um, you know, totally knocks people off their feet, pulls the rug from under them when you're not even expecting it. Um, you know, you could be just doing your normal everyday things. But there's something in your life that needs changing and you're not seeing it. You're not seeing that you're falling into the same patterns. Um, and what the universe likes to do is if they keep giving you signs and you're not picking up on the signs, then they'll, the universe will take care of it on its own and make those changes itself. Now, um, I think that you're overthinking. Um, I know Capricorns just don't usually stop thinking. They're thinking all the time. But this is giving you anxiety. It's not like your normal meticulous mind of thinking, of working, of planning. This is an, an anxious thinking. Something is keeping you up at night. Something is um, is hurting you. The girl in this, in this picture is crying. She's hurt. She's worried. Um, so there's something, there's something that's bothering you. And I don't think it's, it's, I think it's manageable if we work through it. I think that something needs to change in your, something needs to change in your daily life. You keep falling into the same cycle. We got to figure out what needs to change because once you do, the, your outcome is going to be abundant. You're going to have all of the things. Your growth is going to be exceptional, but we have to figure out where this, this thing you're doing is falling so we can repair it. You might already know. So take that as it resonates. You may already know what, what it is that you are repetitively doing that you know you need to change about yourself. But you're like, next time. Next time. I won't fall for it this time. I'll be strong this time. So let's figure it out. Let's see what Tara has to say. Shuffling for Capricorn. This deck is so thick. <laughs> it's hard to shuffle. So I do apologize if I look silly. Okay. Shuffling for Capricorn. for Capricorn. 
Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know for their greatest good for romance in August? Spirit, what do they need to know for their greatest good? Two of Cups and the King of Cups. I need to know for the greatest gun for romance. Thank you. The star. And then we have the Empress and Temperance coming out together. Okay, so two of cups, you're brought together with somebody. This could be a relationship you're already in, or you have a somebody who's interested in you um, on the horizon. This could be a Taurus, is what I'm getting. Um... I'm getting Taurus, Capricorn, um, but this person is going to be a love relationship. This is, I feel like it's going to be somebody who is established, somebody who is mature, somebody who is, um, who wants to have a stable relationship, isn't into all the bullshit. This person is going to look at you like you're the brightest thing they've ever seen. They're going to put you in the spotlight. You're going to be the center of attention. This is going to be complete wish fulfillment for you. Um, this is something that you've been waiting on for a long time. Now... I do have to say that I just heard pregnancy, immediate pregnancy. So if you are um, not looking to be with child, then please be careful because I do, I heard fertility, immediate pregnancy, you've been waiting a long time. Maybe you're running out of time if you're a female. Um, I'm just telling you what the cards are saying. During free will to do whatever it is you like. But I am just putting it out there for you. Just use protection if that's not a situation you desire to be in. Can we clarify for the Two of Cups? Clarifying for the Two of Cups, please. Clarifying for the Two of Cups for our Capricorn Collective. Two of Cups for the Capricorn Collective. Thank you. We have Judgment. Thank you. Two of Cups for the Capricorn Collective. I have one more card to clarify for the Two of Cups. Okay, so we have the Judgment, the Page of Coins, and the Five of Wands. I feel like this is somebody who is... wants... This is somebody who you already know. 
I feel like it's somebody that you already dated. I don't know if it was a, like a, um, I'm hearing just dated. It wasn't like a relationship. Um, but they'd like to take you out again. And this is, this is causing you some confusion. Maybe you thought they were with somebody or maybe you thought, you know, things didn't go well um, when you hadn't heard from them. Maybe you have to hear their side of the story is what I'm hearing. So um, you, might, you might get messages from this person or they might reach out to you and uh, they'd, like, they'd like a second chance. But I'm telling you, it does cause you some confusion. You're just like, what? Um, I feel like I'm going to clarify the five of wands. Because I feel like you're fighting. You're fighting the desire to... To go out with this person. I mean, I feel like you want to, but you're fighting. You're fighting something. Spirit, what do you mean by the Five of Wands? I feel like they didn't, they didn't treat you very, I mean, I don't know when, the, in what time frame this person was with you, but I feel like it was kind of like a stagnant relationship. You were kind of like, eh, bored with it. But now I see it's. It, start, it's, it may move a little bit faster now. And they're willing to give into the relationship instead of being having that stagnant effect. I feel like they're willing to work on it this time. Actually have time for you. Actually pay attention and you know focus on the relationship. I don't know what was going on with them last time. But their full focus wasn't on you. You know, maybe they were in college. I don't, like I said, I don't know what time frame this was. But, um, they want to focus more on you. And I think they have their shit more together. And they want to create this balance with you. I guess, like, when you went out before, maybe it was, like, chaotic and they didn't have time for you. We're going to move on and clarify the King of Cups energy. Here, what does the Capricorn Collective need? Thank you. What does the Capricorn Collective need to know? Thank you. Shuffling for the Capricorn Collective. Okay, so far we have the King of Wands. So we have the King of Cups, the King of Wands, and then the Nine of Wands. So you might have more than one offer coming in. The King of Cups energy and the King of Wands. That's love and passion. Now that could be from one person. But I feel like you have multiple options. Can I have one more card? Thank you. And the Knight of Cups. Somebody... I feel like one of these people you already knew and the other one is going to be a new love. <laughs> now you're feeling freaking overwhelmed. <laughs> Your hands are full. Because of all the... This, uh... These offers, these love offers coming in for you. <laughs> Ooh. 
Now your hands are full. Hey, why not? Why not? It, I just heard feast or famine. <laughs> My guides. <laughs> yeah, these, these people are looking at you like you are. Look at that. All eyes on you. This is more than one person. And if it's not, then this person is over the moon for you. And then we have the King of Swords. Is this a third person? Or are you having to cut somebody off? I have one more card to clarify this stuff. Thank you. Ten of Wands. Yeah, you are... Your hands are, t are full with all this attention you're getting. Your hands are full. You're the one who wanted to do one more try. And guess what? Now you have another suitor. This might be up to, I'm seeing three, four suitors. Single and ready to mingle. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're manifesting. Um, has you radiant. You are in a spotlight. Maybe you're... Um, Maybe you're famous. Maybe you are in a position where you get a lot of attention. Um, but you're going to have a lot of offers coming in for you. Seven of Wands. Four of Cups. And the Queen of Wands. So we have a soulmate connection. So in one of your matches is a soulmate connection. Now you have to be the one to figure out which match that is though. Can't help you there. You're going to have to kiss your frogs to find the right one but I can say that there is a there is a soul mat soul mate match here um I want to clarify the seven of wands like I can see you being overwhelmed and stuff but defensive Spirit, why the Seven of Wands for this reading? Why the Seven of Wands? Spirit, why the Seven of Wands? Thank you. Okay, Five of Swords, Self-Sabotage, Strength. Okay, so we have the Hermit, the Five of Swords, and uh, Strength. So, uh, you're afraid you're going to, to ruin things. You're so overwhelmed, you're afraid you're going to fuck things up. But I'm seeing that you're not. You might feel that way, but you have... 
you manifested this. You developed the coping skills. Spirit is giving you the intellect. The communication skills. To articulate your needs and wants. Your boundaries. This is all within you. Yeah, you're nervous. But this looks like... Have fun with it. Yeah, it looks like it's a lot. But have fun with it. And like I said, your soulmate is, is in... With these options, you just got to figure out which one it is. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, shuffle this Oracle deck and get a card from this one. Okay, Mystic Meadow Sanctuary. Yeah, um, I have a feeling you're going to need your friends and depend on your friends to um, bounce some ideas and feelings off of them. Um, they're there for you. Just call upon them. They're going to be there for you. They always are. And uh, call upon them. See what they think about these people. Introduce them to them. Um, trust, trust, your, trust your soul tribe. Okay, let me do... Pull a couple of romance cards. For the Capricorn Collective. Camera. It says reminiscing. Keepsake. Perception. Learn from the past. Make memories. Shuffling for the Capricorn Collective. Shuffling for Capricorn. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Shuffling for Capricorn. We have the Golden Mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. And then we have Abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. All right. Capricorn, this is where I'm going to leave you. Thank you for staying till the end. I love your loyalty. Uh, please click on that subscribe and smash that like button. And um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, please see below on how to do that. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Bye, Capricorn.